Good morning students welcome to the maths class today we are going to start unit 14 bills which is at page number 168 of our book the very first question in the chapter is bill what is a bill have you ever heard about the word bill yes definitely everyone must have heard about the word bill when we visit to market to purchase something to buy something then shopkeeper gives us a slip of paper on which he notes down our requirements and the, uh, also write the total cost of the items that is called a bill here also the same thing is bill the slip of paper on which a shopkeeper notes down the requirement of a customer or a buyer and calculates the total cost of items purchased is called a bill okay i am again repeating the slip of paper on which a shopkeeper notes down the requirement of a customer and calculates the total cost of items purchased is called a bill here we have a sample of bill this is called a bill at the top of the bill always a word written cash memo then the name of the shop super store then its address r k puram new delhi then the date on which we are purchasing something 14 5 after this top row we have five columns in the bill first column is always of serial number that number of items which we are going to purchase then the name of the item then quantity then rate rate means the cost of one unit the one shampoo cost rupees this then amount means the cost for one thing is this cost for one egg is this but amount means six eggs cost Six multiply four point five zero. This is twenty seven point five zero. Twenty seven point zero zero. Okay, these two columns are different. Rate is that thing that cost which a shopkeeper tells that five rupees per packet. But if we are purchasing ten packets, then amount is the cost which we have to give him means five tens are fifty. Okay, this is amount. serial number items quantity rate and amount as in this bill we have shampoo quantity 1 rate is 72.50 amount is always calculated by rate multiply quantity ones are then same it is number 2 eggs 6 quantity is 6 one Egg costs rupees four point five zero. Then amount will be four point five zero multiplied six. This is twenty seven point zero zero. Then jam two bottles. Rate is rupees ninety five. Means the cost of one bottle is ninety five, and two bottle will cost ninety five multiplied two rupees one hundred ninety. Maggie three packs at rupees twelve. Means twelve is the rate of one pack. Twelve three is a thirty six. Sugar two kilogram at rupees forty five means forty five is the rate of one kilogram of sugar multiplied by two it will be two kilogram. Then the total amount which is to be paid by the customer this is four hundred fifteen point five zero, and in the left corner there is the signature of the shopkeeper. You can do your own signature. Okay, this is the demo of a bill. In this unit we will. make such kind of bills okay this is a bill after this we have some uses of a bill which are given at page number 169 of our book there are three uses of the bill the first is a shopkeeper can keep a track on day to day sales second the customer can cross check the prices of items purchased and their total cost and the third is 
in case of any problem the customer can exchange the item easily by showing the bill okay these are three uses of a bill which are at page number 169 of our book after this we have some kind of bills as we obtain in our houses gas bill electricity bill water bill ration bill etc and all bills are not same all of them look different as entries made in various bills are not exactly the same okay these are some points given in our book related to bills based on the above information we are going to start worksheet 1 of the chapter which is at page number 171 of our book the first question is who prepares a bill and for whom tell me who prepares a bill yes the slip of paper on which a shopkeeper notes down the requirement of a customer so who prepares a bill a shopkeeper prepares a bill and for whom for prepares a bill for a customer okay next name any three bills you receive at home do all of them look alike if not why name any three bills you receive at home do all of them look alike if not why we have studied at page number 169 the different kind of bills gas bill electricity bill ration bill so you can mention any three kind of bills and those all bills are not same or those do not look alike as the entries made in different bills are not same okay the answer to this question you will write on your own come to question number 3 write three uses of a bill we have just discussed the three uses of bill that a shopkeeper can keep a track on day to day sales the customer can cross check the prices of items purchased and their total cost in case of any problem the customer can exchange the items easily by showing the bill okay these three uses we have studied at page number 169 of our book okay you have to do this question from page number 169 and also learn the three uses different kind of bills and who prepares a bill for whom the remaining questions of worksheet 1 we will discuss in next e lecture your homework is revise introduction and do question number 1 2 3 of worksheet 1 of unit 14 Thank you